hi everyone welcome back again to another video today i share with you how to make this delicious watch tea recipe you all will love this recipe so if you haven't subscribed yet kindly do subscribe hit that bell also so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be among the first person to be notified let's get started for this recipe i'll be needing some meat and also i have a little bit of cow meat intestines over there also so that i will need my karo wele or pomo any way you want to call it and what is gonna watch is to you or watch it without your eggs and i'll also add in some seasoning a little bit of water to steam it very well and for seasoning i will go in with some onion garlic and ginger powder I will also go in with some meat seasoning powder as well and a salt to taste. Now cover your meat to cook on high heat until the meat is nice and tender because the wele and the cow meat is so hard so we need to cook it very well. And after 40 minutes of steaming it, just looking all perfect, very juicy and at this point it was looking so tasty and flavorful. <laughs> now look how how the stock on the meat has taken up beautifully and that is what we're going for all right now allow this to cool down then we go ahead and fry the meat so to a heated pan i'm going to go ahead and add in some cooking oil and i'm going to season a little bit with some natural spices and some fresh onions to give the oil flavor okay go ahead and add in your cooked meat and fry this until it is nice and golden brown All right, so now the meat has turned into the perfect golden brown color that I will be going for. Looking so perfect. And I'm going to remove this from the oil. If you don't want to fry your beef or your meat, no need to fry it because this is totally optional, okay? Now, so to a blender, I'm going to add in some ginger, garlic, locust beans, onions, pepper, Add some water to it and cover it to blend until it is nice and smooth now today i added in some locust beans because it takes your watch stew taste to another level so kindly of try this recipe and thank me later <laughs> all right so after blending all the ingredients i added it to the same oil i used to fry the meat because we are not wasting anything at all okay so now let's steam our base of the stew until it is nice and ready just as you see on your screens right now i have less water in it indicating that the base of the stew is ready so i'll go in with some tomato paste you can also use fresh tomatoes in this recipe as well mix it all together and i'll go ahead and add in the stock from the meat which i cooked earlier on okay if you have meat stock it's a plus for you but if you don't have you can go ahead and add in some water to cook your tomato very well okay stir everything together cover it and allow it to cook very well so if today been your first time on this channel hello this is cooking with Tefia. if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet what are you waiting for kindly do subscribe to my channel hit that bell also so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be among the first person to be notified and to my new and old foodie members right here you guys are too much high five to everyone Thank you for liking my video, sharing, and commenting on my videos, fam. I am truly grateful. Thank you so much for doing that. Alright, so we are back to check on the stew after 15 minutes and it's doing all perfect right now. So I'll go in with some all-purpose seasoning, curry powder, and some nutmeg and a salt to taste. The seasoning and the salt is always to your taste stir everything together cover it and allow it to cook on medium heat for extra five more minutes and of course we are back to check on it again after five more minutes so we go ahead and add in some fish powder and also shrimp powder what is gonna watch is to you without these two ingredients 
watches stew without shrimp powder or fish powder will not give you the street watches stew taste that you are looking for without these two ingredients your stew or your watches stew is going to taste like a regular stew so kindly note this one it's very important okay after five more minutes of adding the fish powder i'll go ahead and add in my meat you can as well use any meat of your choice in this watchy stew recipe now mix it all together and cover it again for the stew to infuse in the meat very well okay just as something you know say maybe say stew no area random ni one kasa nene de Okay, so now I'm adding in my eggs just the way the street watches sellers would do it. Look at how appetizing and delicious this watches stew looks. I paired this with some wache which I didn't use sogum leaves to prepare. So this is no leaves wache recipe which i have the recipe on my channel already i'll leave the video link in the description box for you to check it out thank you so much for watching this video to this point and if you enjoy to this point that means you are a proud foodie member thank you for watching